Looks to take into the hash marks against Derek St. Marie. And Hicks finds a demon. There's Dan Mercer in the near point. Wall lets the puck slip around. Picked up by Wall again. Goal line heading towards the slot. Now on the far side. Watt shovels it in. And Terry Watt with his first goal of the season. His first game back in a demon's uniform. Welcome back, Terry. We're tied at one. 14.50 left to go in the second. Like I mentioned in the pregame show, Terry Watt, five goals with the Demons, five goals in the Federal Hockey League last season between Thousand Islands and here. And he finds his first one in his first game. Nick Williams, Waheed Darge and Nick, uh, Waheed Darge with the assist and Brian Marks in the slot, fires it home past St. Pierre and the Demons take their first lead of the contest, two to one. 14-25, left to go in the second. For Marks, that is his 17th goal on the season, and the captain has put back-to-back -back goals up very quickly for the home team. And that re-energizes the fans and the players as they have looked more energetic after that strike from Terry Watt. Brian Marks with the score. I gotta mention Waheeb Darge and Brett Wall with the assist in the first one. Over for Danville in the slot. Aiken tries to chip it around. Mafus watches. Aiken to Mafus. Mafus is wide to the left. Mafus tries to shovel it in. St. Pierre jumps on it. Beautiful save by the Danville goalie. And back there, Roy Mafus hanging up with St. Pierre. St. Pierre versus Mafus and Tolley comes in as the third man here. And Alex Norman is wrestling, and Jeff Rose is shaking off his gloves. He wants St. Pierre. My oh my, what a beautiful fight that was as Mafus went after it. Right now, I believe we have Norman going after one of his former teammates. And that might be Taguna there. Rose is trying to get at St. Pierre. And St. Pierre dragged away by a linesman. Norman is still tangled up with his demon fighter. His Rose pushed all the way back. An explosion of hockey sticks and hockey helmets. Rose is trying to bow away from the linesman. And right now we have another fire on the far hand side. Mafus has Tolly, I believe. A gentleman that Mafus has fought before. And right now Mafus just bumps him gently towards the Dayton bench. And the Zamboni doors have opened up. My oh my, what an explosion we just seen. Mafus went out with Joe St. Pierre. The second straight contest we've seen St. Pierre go out with a demon. Mafus, he chucks his helmet towards the near corner. He is furious as all get out. I believe he's talking to the second linesman. First linesman doing everything he can to prime away. One dasher goes to the box, that's Norman. Ponterary stands by the referee crease. Jeff Rose is hanging around the Zamboni doors as Thompson chucks out some gear. We might see James Robbins in the net for the second straight contest because of a goalie fight. Hunter Airy waits patiently in the near side of the face-off circle or the referee crease. Hunter Airy having a laugh with Jesse Felton. As the referee, Pisano, He's writing a lot of things down. He's going to need a lot of ink in that pen to figure all this out. Right now, Pace is trying to get out of Jeff Rose. And I believe Rose was just shown the door. Pace still trying to get out of Jeff Rose, who's hiding, who's not hiding. He's behind the Zamboni doors. He's right behind the light operator. My oh my. It's amazing how things can twist so quickly like that as Mafu's looking for the third unanswered goal by Dayton and then the puck goes all the way towards Jeff Rose and then Mafu's battling St. Pierre right there Mafu's looked like he had a couple good looks and St. Pierre he held his own too against Mafu's that was a nice fight 
Right now, Nick Williams talking with Jesse Felton, former teammates. So, busy day at the office. There is St. Pierre. It's a merge from the near hand side. And St. Pierre is skating around. If Jeff Rose is ejected, we'll see Matt Kinsella. And that'll be the first time we've seen Kinsella in a couple of games. Last time we see Matt Kinsella was a three to two loss here at home versus Danbury. And Jeff Rose has started every game ever since. That would be four. Right now the Stripes talking it over. It's Mark Thompson, a third dasher. I believe that's Joe Pace and St. Pierre. They're talking it over. Nick Williams comes in. He'd like to listen to this conversation. Joe Pace, he talks to the fans leaning over the penalty box, I believe, or possibly the referee. And actually, scratch that, it is the referee he's talking to. As the Dayton Mobile DJ, with a lot more baby crying sounds since the last home game. He's using them to his advantage as he's playing an old rock song by old, I mean, uh, goodness, 10, 15 years? Headstrong, that's what it was called. I forgot what it was for a minute. Pace skates away from the conversation. Right now it's Punterary, Giuliano for Danville. As Jesse Felton and Brian Marks overhearing what the Stripes have to say into the speaker hole. Right now St. Pierre still talking with the two linesmen. And the two are hovering over the Danville goalie. And the Dayton fans booing around. They're saying, hey, why does St. Pierre get to say in this game right now? Fans not too happy. As the referee has got a big job to do as he talks the penalties into the scoreboard operator who then headphones it back up here to the press row. So linesmen come in, they'll talk to St. Pierre again. So with this brief break in the action, Dayton two, Danville one, 13.41 left to go in the second. A big eruption as Ahmed Mafuz was taking on St. Pierre, the fans, most notably in section 30. Exit around the blue line there, there is Skinner, Skinner scores! Skinner with the goal! On the left hand side of Robbins, dumps it in, and Dayton leads three to one with 5.38 left to go in the second. For Dustin Skinner, that is his sixth goal on the season with Dayton in his 20th on this 2013-2014 campaign. Demons have scored three in a row and Dayton leads three to one with 5.38 left to go in the second. Shots on goal it is 29 to 16 in favor of Dayton. On two, Darge coming in, Mignon shot, score! Casey Mignon with his fifth goal with Dayton. And it's a two goal lead once more, four to two Demons, 38 seconds left in the second. Mignon, beautiful placement in the slot, and he takes care of it himself. And he gives Dayton a two goal lead once more at four to two. For Mignon, that is his fifth goal in a Demons jersey, his 19th game. He's got 21 points for the Demons. It's Freeman right over his shoulders. Picked back up by Dayton though. Behind the cage, Mafus to Mignon. Mignon scores for the second time tonight. Mignon fires it, a nice pass towards him. And it's now five to three, Dayton. 15-27, left to go in the third. Terry Watt leads the charge with Casey Mignon as the Demons lead by two again as they look for their 27th regulation win on the season and on the series record, the season series record against Danville, they're looking for their 15th win against the Dashers in their 16th game. Corner. There's Skinner kicking it back. There's Felton again, far face off circle. Going towards the slot, Scott and score! 
Jesse Felton with the power play goal. His 26 on the season, and the Demons lead by three at six to three. 13-30 left to go in the third. A power play goal for Jesse Felton. The Demons have scored their 44th power play goal on the season. And it is a six to three Demons lead with 13 and a half left to go in the third. Taguna tries to shovel back. There's player in the near faceoff circle. And a dumper, Roger Taguna scores! Roger Taguna with his 20th goal in a Demons jersey. That puts the Demons back up by three at seven to four. 8-12 left in the third. For Taguna, he gets the pass. He gets the puck right in front of him and says, I'll flick it forward, and he finds the back of Robin's net. Dayton seven, Danville four, 8-12 left in the third. Taguna with goal number 20. Wins the faceoff as Dunford sweeps it around. Picked up by Thompson off his chest. Make it his back, and it's Mignon firing a pass. Mafus tic tac toes it. Aiken open. Soar! August Aiken puts it up and in. Beautiful passing that starts from Mignon to Mafus and to Aiken. And Aiken finishes the trip. It is now 8 to 4, Demons. 6.28 left to go in the third. For Aiken, that's his first goal tonight. And he's now got 26 in his time with Dayton. By the Demons in the near corner. Felton kicks it around. Rosin robs his pockets, and that is the end of the game. Your final score tonight, the Dayton Demons eight and the Danville Dashers five. For Danville, Matt Pontereri has three goals tonight for a hat trick. And for Dayton, there's a couple that were close. You have Terry, or yes, Terry Watt with his first goal back in a Demons jersey. Marks with a goal, Skinner with a goal, Mignon with two. And Roger Daguna with one, Felton with one, Aiken with one. So lots of even scoring tonight for the Demons. And for the Dashers, Punteri with three goals, Joe Pace with one, and Alex Norman with one, his first on the season. The Demons, they point up towards the fans like they always do. Very appreciative of this fan base, always supporting them night in and night out. With that being said, we have the stars of the game and recap of the third period for you here, and then we'll bid you adieu for tonight's broadcast. Final score, Dayton Demons eight, Danville Dashers five. We'll be back after this here on the Gem City Sports Network and on the FHL Sports Network. Stay tuned.
Final score, Dayton Demons eight, Danville Dashers five. Stars of the game look like this. Your third star tonight with a hat trick, thank you very much. Three goals, four shots, Matt Punterary is your third star tonight. For the Demons, your second star tonight is August Aiken. One goal, two assists, a plus two ranking, and four shots for him on the night. And your first star of the night for Dayton, Two goals, two assists, five shots, a plus three ranking. It's number 11, Casey Mignon. Mignon, the first star of the game. August taking your second star. And Danville's Matt Punterary, your third star of the game. Final score, Dayton Demons eight, Danville Dashers five. Here's how that third period went. Dayton outscores Danville four to three. We've seen seven goals in that third period alone. Danville outshoots Dayton. 13 to 11 in the third. On the game, Dayton outshoots the Dashers 45-31.